Hi guys, welcome back to AJ's Paintings. Um, today's video is completely different from my other videos. Usually I'm behind the camera, but today I'm in front of the camera. Um, just because I wanted to share with you um, my very first art fair experience. When I got an opportunity to go to an art fair and, um, you know, put my stuff out there, I was scared. <laughs> I didn't know how to how to do it. Um, so I did a lot of research, a lot of planning. Um, it was an awesome experience. I really loved it. So if um, you are planning to do an art fair, if you've never done it before, um, you're scared like me. <laughs> I'm going to share with you what happened, how I did it, um, the whole thing. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing, um, when you are going to, when, when you get an opportunity, um, just make sure that you check out the location where it's going to be. Um, is it going to be an indoor fair? Is it going to be an outdoor fair? Um, I think uh, it's more successful if other booths around you are also related to art. So people who are coming in are actually coming for art. There, if you go to a fair which is mostly um, for you know clothes or other stuff, uh, then people are not coming in to in their mind thinking about art. So the first thing I did when I got the opportunity, um, there was an option for me to pick either indoor or outdoor. Um, I, I wasn't sure I wasn't on the I've never been on the property before so I didn't know which would be better for me um, so I checked out I reached out to the person who actually works there and I know her so I asked her um, which one is going to be better for me if it's if it's possible for you I would recommend going in and checking it out beforehand so you know what you're getting into um, and she recommended to you know doing it outdoors because without with these conditions with COVID and everything uh, it's better to be outside um, indoor there were more there were more restrictions so I, I went for the outdoor one um, so the the first thing I did was check um, that and then what it is that if they're giving me anything like if they're giving me a table or something they were giving a table to the people who were inside but not to the people who were outside so I had to bring everything so it said that you bring your own um, on your own your tent bring your own table wherever all the displays you have to bring yourself um, so I went in I made a list for myself because I was going in with paintings um, my resin uh, coasters and trinket dishes and also my resin jewelry. I was going to take paintings and all those small stuff so I needed um, a way to display everything. I was lucky enough that the booth was big it was 10 by 10 um, and not only was 10 by 10 there was just like six feet different uh, distance between two tents so basically I had 10 by 10 and then I had six feet here six feet there six feet behind so it was a really huge space for me so um, I what I was thinking about okay how am I going to go and display my paintings on the booth because I had a tent uh, that was like you know the backyard tent that I use in my backyard um, so I had that I had a folding table um, and I had some easels um, so I don't know if you can see behind me there's like these these wood easels these are the working easels they're not display easels um, but I had some easels because I used to do a class in my um, I had a you know studio where I used to teach class so I have like four or five like five of these easels so I was like okay I'm gonna take my easels with me because I have enough space to put those up um, and then for my jewelry and my trinkets I was going to take the display the folding table um, which is big enough so it would you know keep everything on it so um, that's covered so first thing you need to know what you need to do like with the table and how you're going to display your paintings um, so I had those easels which was good but I was bringing in a lot of paintings because I was like um, I was checking before I was checking so many different people's videos and you know posts and everything and I noticed that some people said oh it was going really well it went really well but I didn't bring enough stuff because I wasn't sure so I was like okay I'm gonna bring enough stuff that I can fit in um, it doesn't matter if I don't end up selling that much but I at least if I start selling in uh, I won't be worried that oh I didn't bring in enough stuff so I, I brought a lot of paintings um, uh, so 
that was the easels for the paintings and then I thought okay I can put it on the easels but I wanted to hang some of the small ones um, and I didn't know how would I, I looked into the the wire grids that a lot of people have like some people have those walls but they're really expensive and if you're not doing it a lot you don't want to invest in that kind of stuff um, there were wire grids I checked them online they were also very expensive it's expensive so I was like okay I need to figure out something so I was <laughs> again I, I got like you had something at home so these I had these um, the, uh, shelves these are like you know uh, closet organizers I think you can buy them from I think um, Home Depot I think that's where I got these from um, and these are not as expensive um, I don't know if you can see it properly but it's like this and it has like this lip on the side uh, so what I did um, I just left these in here because I wanted to show you um, so how I did was I took these zip ties okay uh put two zip ties together and then just put it on top here and hanged it from the wall of the tent okay so there was like two or three zip ties up hanging it on the wall and it's easier with zip ties because once i hanged it on the wall uh on the t on the side of the wall it was easy to just adjust it because you just put on the tie and you can tell you can make it straight so that was that and then i attached some on the bottom as well like this um so what i did was i took the paintings i put some thumb pins on the back uh on the back of the painting and i just hang that on here so instead of putting it here because that that it would keep on falling and i wouldn't have i wouldn't be able to hang it here so i put those thumb pins and i just like hang it on here and then uh, there were also thumb pins on the bottom ones um, that I just put in in there so the thumb pins were kind of same way as they were hanging there they were also put in here and that's how I was able to so I had two of these um, see this, this is like really long enough um, so I had two of these on the back wall that I put um, so if I didn't have the easels I could have these on all three walls of my booth and I could hang them hang my paintings um, facing either way it depends on like what you do I had I put two walls so two sides were closed and two sides were open so one side on the back I had the paintings hanging then I had easels on the sides and I had the table in front so there was a space on the side to come in so I'm gonna show you I don't I, I'm gonna put in the video after my booth uh, I, I will put it in the beginning I'll put it in the end like I'll show you what when uh, how I did it so you have kind of a kind of like a visual too so that's what I did for hanging my paintings I also put some on on the back like on the bottom because I had some leftover and I was like uh, okay so I'm not gonna just put them away um, so I just put them on on the bottom that was not a very good idea uh, because uh, the wall is fabrics so whenever the wind blew the painting would go down so that was not a very good idea this actually stayed put doesn't matter how how the wind was it stayed put i had no problem with any paintings falling down so this is a very cheap option if you want to do something like that uh, to hang on the booth um so that's for the paintings and then i wanted somehow to show my jewelry i didn't want to just put it down on the table um, I could have done that too, but I wanted to create some kind of interest so that your eye would actually uh, go towards the table. Um, so I invested in some um, displays, jewelry displays. So I got two of these. So it was good because there was um, a sale on in Michaels um, that uh, I think it was like buy one get one half off or something. So that's why it was good that I got these two and I got this one this one is for bracelets and I got this one uh, for my earrings uh, so um, I didn't want to put all my jewelry on the table I brought it all with me um, so this is how I keep it so when I make something um, right away I put it on a card that I stamp on the bag um, and then I put it in these baggies just to keep it safe so this is how I brought my jewelry um, 
I put it in a box like this and I took it there and I just took some of the pieces out and I was like okay I'm not going to put everything on the table because you don't want to clog you don't want to make it too messy um, it's very hard for people to decide when they have so many options so something like this um, actually keeps it very organized because I kept the you can see in the video I kept one one earrings in one slot and then I put some in front as well because there was I was like I should have bought two of these that's what I was thinking there that I should have bought I should have had two of these um, because I had some stars and I had some of the earrings like this so I wanted to put these inside and I wanted to put the stars the stars should have been have should have had their own tray uh, like this but that's okay I'm learning <laughs> um, but I, I noticed that that actually helps a lot um, so I had those displays um, and with these um, you can notice that when you put in on the on the the necklace it actually all necklaces have different length right so it would like go down or, down, or, or wouldn't stay so what I did I put holes on the back in here I drilled small holes I have like small drill that I use for my jewelry so I drill small holes like I don't don't try to nail it because it's going to just rip open so I put uh, I, I drilled some holes like this and then I put in these thumb pins see it just came out <laughs> so I would put in the thumb pin wherever I needed to uh, make sure that the necklace I could bring it back and I can just kind of attach it in here so it wouldn't you know it wouldn't slip down um so that's what i did for my jewelry um for the for the necklace i don't have a lot of bracelets i just started doing bracelets and i didn't have that many so i was like okay i'm not going to use this for my bracelets i actually use this for my uh, necklaces because i have a lot of necklaces uh, so all the ones that are like kind of like this or they're like 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 small hearts like big hearts and i put in like some of them had the chain but most of them have these black cords that i got from amazon they're really good if you haven't um gotten these black cords they're not that expensive and they are perfect so what i did hold on so i took these necklaces and i just put them in because this has like this uh, kind of like a velvet in here uh, it stays it doesn't go down it doesn't slip down and then you can pull it could pull some of them up some down kind of like make it not exactly the same um, and I noticed that this is the one that got got the most attention um, I had these I didn't sell anything from these because I don't know maybe people think that because it's on this it's going to be expensive um, but these got sold more um I, I sold a lot of more necklaces like this from this so what i would do i would keep like seven or eight in here when one got sold i would replace it with another one because i had a lot more jewelry over there um when i would sell um an earring i would replace it one more thing i would recommend is wearing your own jewelry like wear a couple of pieces yourself so people can see uh, how it looks um on you also i needed to um Put the prices on i just didn't want to put like write them down on a piece of paper and put it over there um so i got these actually my sister gave them to me um these are for food so for buffets uh, when you serve you're serving food you would put you know uh, what kind of food it is so these are like really cute small um i don't know what they're called uh, so you can get them from uh, party supplies they, they sell these kind of things um, and I noticed that since this is like you know standing up this is high people actually tend to see it really clearly I didn't put anything on I would just I just you know um, whatever was 15 I put that and it helps a lot you don't have to keep telling the price um, and it looks cute it adds to you know the display it makes it much more cuter um, um, I also kept a uh, paper um, like this some a pen you can do um, um, an email list if you want I didn't really do that um, but I had the paper there so I had my email address written on it um, so if anybody you know wanted to uh, do an e-transfer or something they could do it right there <clears throat> okay so that's about displaying um, 
also okay so we are at the list so you're making the list you're thinking about everything okay what am i going to need there um there's a lot of things that i took with me that i didn't end up needing but i think that they're important like small things like i took uh since i was taking my jewelry i took my my small kit uh, so if something breaks or if something i need to fix whatever um i can do it right there um if I had to change something, I could have done it easily there. Um, like, for example, somebody uh, liked one of these necklaces, but she didn't want the chain in that. Um, she only wanted the piece. So I had to take out the neck, the chain. So some chains I have that I can just take out easily. Some of them are, you know, they have like big rings on the side. So it's not easy to get them out and without the, um, the pliers. So I took that there just in case if I had to use it um, so you need to, you could use scissors tape uh, measuring tape there's lots of stuff I'll share my list with you too I'll put it in the description um, so if you want to look at my list you can definitely look at that too um, it will help a lot so before I left my house I made sure to check like everything that I have on my list and I have it with me um, so um, after that uh, transportation so you need to know like, you know how you're gonna transport your stuff um, if you have a van accessible that you can you know take your, your stuff in um, if it's something small like you know jewelry or um, resin coasters you can put in a box and it's easy to transfer um, that's fine but when it comes to paintings you have to be more careful especially some paintings that are you know covered with resin so we have to be more careful so I'm gonna show you my <laughs> my van how I put everything in there uh, so uh, putting big things on the side and with the paintings what I did was I stacked them all the ones that had the same sizes um, so I stacked them in a way so they they're not pushing down like small paintings are not on top of the big paintings so they were pushed down in the middle and they would you know make a dent or something like that um, it happens very quickly so you have to be very careful how you're arranging your paintings you make them stand up you make them on the side like the big if you have a big paintings how are you going to put it um, it all matters so pay attention to how you are transporting your paintings as well uh, like kind of do it in advance like you know plan in advance how you're going to end up doing if you need to put a uh, parchment paper or something in between to save them even more um, so be prepared in advance for that as well um, so get there early if like for mine it was um, first come first serves serve so it, they were not allotted the boots weren't allotted so if you get there earlier you can choose which one you want it um, it helps too um, so where I was there was going to be an art battle so I chose a booth that was close to it but not too close so uh, people to going for going there people will have to pass my booth um, so th that th that kind of small thing also helps then sitting on the table um, so so I had these trinket dishes um, that I have like the, the, these custom boxes for um, um, I wanted to display some something like this so I could show the top too but it wasn't easy because there wasn't enough space for that to do that so first I can show you in the video how I I put them up like this um, so I just kind of tilted it a little bit so you can see uh, from from you coming in but I noticed that after after like some time uh, people were not actually looking at these they would look from the top and then they will they will not pay any attention to it um, but they were looking at the jewelry more or coasters and stuff so I was like okay I need to change something um, halfway through um, so what I did I took this out and I closed the lid and I put this on top so this way I noticed when I put in like this people started noticing more like what is the shape you know how it looks and then they started paying more attention to to the trinket dishes as well um, so it's small things like this i think they matter a lot uh, so when you are doing it even if you have set up everything uh, and you're good you're happy with it uh, just pay attention to how people are coming in how they're looking at stuff what they're paying more attention to what they're not and these small things and i when i put them all up i noticed that a lot of people were actually looking at them and asking questions about them um, i had a lot of paintings but i wanted to have like one piece that people notice as soon as they turn the corner as soon as they saw for from far away they could see that one piece that you know that one painting that you want people to look at as soon as they come close to your booth and that painting was my wave um, you can see in the video 
the wave is it's it's 30 by 40 uh, it's a big painting it looked did not look big there <laughs> It looks really big at home, but when you go in the you know, big area, it just started looking small. But um, everyone came in and talked about that painting. Um, I didn't take it there thinking that it was going to get sold because, of course, that was an expensive piece. Um, somebody could have bought it, but that's not why I took it there. I wanted to take it there just because it's an attention grabber kind of thing. Uh, so it, you know, it just wheels you in people were coming in and talking about it asking questions how i did it um so i think something like that you should have at least one piece that you that's your statement piece that you want there um so that really helped a lot like to start the conversation and talking to people um and so they would come in they would ask about the painting and they would start talking about other things too um so I think that also helps put it in, in a place where it's easy to see for people as soon as they, you know, even if they're not coming into your booth, if they're just walking by, that's the thing that they, they kind of just go straight, their eye goes straight to that. And then I've noticed that most, most of the time people will come in straight to the painting, talk about the painting, and then they will start coming around looking at the painting and then we'll say, oh, there's something on the table too. And then they will look at the, at the jewelry. Um, so jewelries are something that I think that's sold the most. I sell, sold some paintings, I sold some coasters, uh, but I think jewelry is the one that actually sold the most because I feel like it's easier for people. Um, one more thing I want to talk about is how people are going to pay. Um, so because it was my very first time, I did not want to invest into, um, you know, anything, you know, those square uh, card readers or anything because I, I, I didn't know how it was going to go. Uh, so mine was only cash only or e-transfer. So if you could e-transfer, like, some people who did e-transfer as well um but i have noticed that if i i lost some of the sales because i did not have a card reader um because people would come in they would pick up some stuff they would say okay fine i'm gonna buy this and then they would give me their card i'm like um no <laughs> it's just cash only and then they would be like oh i don't have cash so i noticed if i had that i would have not lost those sales um so that's something if you want to do more of the art fairs maybe it's good to invest in in that um I, i'm thinking that if i'm gonna start doing more of these i am going to invest in um you know getting a square or something like that to just you know make sure that i have that options with me um so um that's important um Okay, I don't know if I'm forgetting anything. I don't want to forget anything. <laughs> um, yeah, and just be happy, be, you know, um, talk to people. Um, just if you can, make you have, you know, can, can get somebody to be there with you. It always helps to, you know, have another person um, standing there. So if you want to take a rest, you want to sit down, somebody is there to talk and, you know, talk about your art or whatever, um, and they can attend to tend to your booth um, that helps a lot too so I had someone with me helping the whole time which helped a lot I had a really good experience and I just wanted to share with you uh, what I did how I did it um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything um, but if you have any question about my experience please do leave me a comment and I'll make sure to answer uh, give me a like and share um, and I'll come back with another video thank you so much bye